Do you consider yourself black or Ethiopian? Well, how do you identify? Uh, well, black is a concept. It's a made-up construct. It doesn't exist. Okay. Because um, I'm not black. Hi, guys. It is your girl, Valentina, a.k.a. the African Dominican. I recently attended a fun and vibrant Ethiopian event in the Washington, D.C. area here in the USA. The beauty of the Ethiopian culture, the people, and their national pride was on full display. You have to watch this video in full. Ethiopians kind of remind me of people from the Dominican Republic. As you all know, Dominicans get a lot of heat for saying that they are not black, they are Dominican. I wondered if Ethiopians get the same question and backlash. In this video, I asked Ethiopians based in the USA if they are black. And I also asked them about their Ethiopian culture. I hope you enjoy this video and share it with others. Please tell me your names. Sophie. Sophie. Yo, Johanna. And you guys, are, you were born here, but your parents are from Ethiopia. You're born in Ethiopia? I was born here, but I mostly learned stuff from Ethiopia. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so you guys dancing. You look so pretty. So tell me, uh, how does it feel like to be Ethiopian? It feels good. It's a good culture and stuff. Like, you learn about how they eat, how they dance. Like, it's in a different way. Okay. Like, like, they build dams and stuff. Like, they're really creative. Really creative? Really beautiful country. Well, I haven't been there. But yeah, but you know the country is beautiful, right? Yeah. How about you, Tim? What do you think about Ethiopia? So it's really pretty big and it has a lot of tradition. Yeah, mm -hmm. Like we all like, we're all about together, we united, and even we relax, we dance, we eat together, we do everything as a family and as a family. Right. And it's beautiful, we just do everything. That's really great. My name is Naho. Now from Ethiopia. Yep. So were you born and raised here or you from you were born no, in Ethiopia? I actually came last year. Last week or oh, you perfect for this question. I'm basically Ethiopian. <laughs> yeah, you basically Ethiopian. So let me ask you this question. Do you identify as black or as Ethiopian? Definitely Ethiopian. Definitely Ethiopian. Oh, Perfectly, right. So uh when you now you're in America, did anybody ever ask you if you're black or did anybody ever ask you where you to identify, to identify yourself? You're actually the first person I think. Right. You you appear first and then like you don't consider yourself black at all. No, never. I've never considered myself as a black. Because I I don't know. I mean I was right. born and raised back home so I don't right. really know this concerns of the world being black, white. Right. Like that. That's a good point because um like there are people called Dominicans from Dominican Republic oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and people always ask them, you say you're not black, you're Dominican how so you know and it's like a whole war going on exactly. and, and and i always think do people ask ethiopians if they are black or if they are ethiopian and, and it's your answer is very interesting and not that question, that question before have you ever been anywhere else other than ethiopia no this is actually my first time your first time going out. outside ethiopia yeah so let me ask you this question so people in ethiopia do they identify as black or ethiopian how ethiopian 100% Ethiopian. In any, 100%. 100%. And, and if you go to an Ethiopian and it's like, you black, they probably say, no, I'm not no. black. They'll say, I'm, I'm not Ethiopian, black. Yeah. Right, I'm Ethiopian. Is there a racism in Ethiopia? I mean, the, between the not black... between black and white, uh -huh. there is, of course, there is a huge crisis when it comes to... to like, like in, in what form? In At groups? groups yeah. Is it like tribalism or is it racism? Yeah, 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 exactly. It's tribalism. Yeah. Okay. But is, is there colorism where the no, light skin ones... Culture basically, yeah, it's like language, tribalism, yeah. right? Like yeah. different tribes, yep. they hate each other, but it's like dark skin Ethiopians and last skin Ethiopians. That's not the issue, no, no that's not the issue. That's never the issue. That's never the issue. That's never the issue. Thank you so much, that's, that's really, really great I insight.
Kadus, and you're from Ethiopia. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so uh, do you speak uh, any of the Ethiopian languages? Uh, I do not. I speak mostly English. Okay. I can understand. You were born and raised here? Yes, I was born and raised here. Okay, so uh, let me ask you a question. Do you think Ethiopians are black? Uh, to be honest, yes. I think they are black because it, it all originated in Africa. Okay. All black people basically originated in Africa. Right. Okay, so because they're from Africa, you think Africa means black? Yes, ma'am. means black. Do, do a lot of Ethiopians consider themselves black? Uh, from some, what you hear? Some do. It just depends on where they grew up. Right. If they grew up in America, they definitely consider themselves black. Right. But if they grew up like, in the country, then they'll probably really consider themselves Ethiopian. Ethiopian. Because they grew up there. Right. Most of them try to come to America and right. have a better life. That's a good point that you make. Because people say that all in America, you identify yourself by your skin color. But it, in Africa and elsewhere in the world, you don't use your skin color to identify yourself. You use your nationality. So that's why Ethiopians in Africa, they say they're Ethiopian, they're not black. It's like Dominicans say they're not black, they're Dominican. Exactly. But then in America, right, in America, people go by the skin color. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that, though? Is that, is that right? Yeah, it's just people take it differently. If they see somebody that looks Ethiopian, they might think they're Dominican. I get that a lot. Right. It's just, it's really just how you grew up. Really. Right. I grew up American. Exactly. So I, I still consider myself Ethiopian American. Right. Well, you identify as black. Yes. You're a black person. Yes. And do people ever ask you in America like if you're black or do they just assume you're black? Do you ever get that question you're black? Um, yeah, I get that. I, was, I got it mostly when I was younger, but okay. now that I'm older, I guess I already know. Right. So why do you think they ask you if you're black? I mean, they can tell you're black, but they still ask you if you're black, right? So why do you think they ask you if you're black? What do they mean by black, do you think? Uh, you probably think that you could or ghetto right. or something like that. Right. Nah, I'm just a regular black guy. <laughs> right, regular black, black guy. Right, exactly. So thank you so much for asking my questions. You Ethiopian and you identify as black. Yes, thank you, that's good. What's your name? Robel. Robel, and you're from Ethiopia? I'm from Ethiopia. So are you born and raised there or are you born and raised here? Born and raised in Washington, D.C. Oh, born and raised in Washington, D.C. So let me ask you a question. Do you consider yourself black or Ethiopian? Well, how do you identify? Uh, well, black is a concept. It's a made-up construct. It doesn't exist. Okay. Because um, I'm not black. I'm right. brown. Right. So they use the color black to categorize us and tell us how to live, how to talk, how to exist. But I choose to identify with being Ethiopian. Nice. But that's a choice because I can choose to identify with whatever I want. Right. That, that's a good answer because um, my channel is called African Dominican. So I cover a lot of African and Caribbean issues in Dominican. And Dominicans get a lot of heat for saying that they're not black, they're Dominican. And I always wonder, how many Ethiopians get the same question? Because I don't really hear Ethiopians getting that question. Are you black or are you Ethiopian? So I wanted to do this vlog so I can explore this a little bit deeper because Dominicans get the heat. But you guys, you don't get the heat because you don't get the question, right? So I wonder what, how come you guys don't get, don't get this question because you, you, you kind of like mirror Dominicans, right? But you guys don't get this question of black or Ethiopian. Why do you think that is? Well, that's a great question. Um, but you'd be surprised. So I have a TikTok page called Life Talk. Okay. We talk about issues within the Ethiopian and Eritrean context. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the comments are people having issues with us not identifying with black. Oh. Some choose to identify with black, some don't. Mm -hmm. But my problem is, before they told me I was black, I didn't know I was black. Mm. Before they put these words on me, I didn't know what I was. Mm. So at the end of the day, I choose to identify 
this is deeper spiritually right but something that transcends what's on the outside of my skin mm. but at the end of the day i'm a human being there's right. only one race and it's the human race that's true i totally agree with, with that so in the ethiopian community ethiopians mostly identify as ethiopian right or mostly most of them identify as black they don't identify with black they say they're ethiopian so black is a concept and how do you feel about i'm black americans identifying as black or black, african americans identifying as black or how do you feel about that they can do whatever they want right um, for a while i used to identify with black culture right um, and so what's black be, culture so it depends mm -hmm. right so it could be we can identify with uh, everything that had to do with people from african right. origin so mm -hmm. that's one more question um I know Ethiopia, um, like somebody just told me, in Ethiopia, they don't, they don't identify as black either. So I think that's a consensus among Ethiopians, that they're not black, they're Ethiopian. And then somebody also mentioned earlier um, that only, only in America people identify by their skin color. Oh, wow. But elsewhere, like other black people from Africa, like the Caribbean, they go by their nationality. So I feel like race in America, like you say, it's very, um, it's a big deal here to identify by skin color. And I think that's just to divide people, really. Because like Africans, when they come, if you say, are you black? They go, well, I'm Nigerian. I'm Namibian, I'm African, or I'm Caribbean, I'm Jamaican. They don't say I'm black and I'm from Jamaica, they say I'm Jamaican by their nationality. So, but why do you think in America they really go a lot by their skin color? Oh, that's a good question. I think maybe the powers that be are trying to control people, to segment them, teach right. them how to think, teach them how to live so that they can use them and target them specifically when it comes time to vote. Right. Me personally, I don't like to identify, I don't like to have mental borders when I look at people right. based on the color of your skin. Right. I believe in what Dr. Martin Luther King said, mm -hmm. where he identifies people based on the content of their character. And right. so we are all human beings, no matter what the color of your skin is, no matter what country you come from, we all bleed the same color whether somebody's white asian or whatever i look at them as a human and so they're my brother and my sister great answers thank you so much for time i appreciate that thank you so much Okay, nice to meet you from Ethiopia, yes. Addis Ababa. That's true. So many kids today dancing, yes. so full of their pride of their culture and country. And you don't really see that a lot being in America. Yes. But I feel like Ethiopia should do a good job, you know, keeping that culture within your kids. That's true. How but do you guys do that? The community is a yeah. very strong, vibrant community. And we try to teach our kids our values, our culture, and religion as well. So they are really growing, knowing their country, even though they're born here. That's they're amazing. always thinking back and knowing that where their origin is. Right, that's so amazing. So when you say religion, you guys are Christians, right? Yes. You mostly Christian. We have Christians, Muslims. Are you half half Muslim, half Christian, or mostly Christian? It's, it's not half. It's majority probably Christian. I right. don't have the exact data, right. mm -hmm. but all religions live together. Right. With harmony, so one respect to another. Yeah. So that's what Ethiopia is, and that's the unity. Yeah. I like that because Ethiopia is also the pillar of Africa. Ethiopia helped, helped a lot of African countries during the wars, like liberation struggle in Namibia, South Africa. Mm -hmm. So you saw. So I was growing up thinking, you know, in Ethiopia is like the mother, like of Africa type yes, of thing. It's the motherland. Actually, we are the only African country probably that was never colonized. That's true. Ethiopia is always free and will stay free. I know and that's right. I'm so happy to hear that. Tell me about the dance. I saw a lot of dance with the shoulders yes. and in the feet. So what, what does that mean? We have about 89 uh, ethnic groups. 89, and, wow. Yes, we have all different um, dances and, you know, different uh, tribes have different uh, dances. Okay. And basically that's what was demonstrated. Oh, today. okay. So there are also different this is some different tribes. Yeah. You don't just have one dance for the whole country. Everybody no, does. We oh, all, you know, all different tribes, different religions, mm -hmm. but we live in harmony. That's we wonderful. That's true. And that's all what you saw today. Right. So the shoulder movements and the feet, is that is that depicting anything? 
No, it's just a culture. It's, it's a culture. Yes, yeah, one of the culture, one okay. of the dances. Yeah. Okay, and the feet. So, so none of it is like harvesting in a field or anything like that. It's, it's not like named after farming or anything like that. No, no. no. It's just Ethiopian dance. It's just like characterize it anyway. It's right. Part of Right. It's from different regions of the country and Wonderful. different dances and right. that's how we all do it. Wonderful. Let me also ask you something. Ethiopia, you have more influence from Italy or Arab or Africa. What would you say? What would you say? Most of your influence yeah, come from? Ethiopian. Remember the yeah. first uh, Homo sapien was found in that's Ethiopia. True. So that's true. That's true. You're the original we people. Were influenced with one or the other. I know. That's a great great answer. You're great. just great. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, so what, tell me about Ethiopian coffee. Everybody says the best coffee Ethiopia, in, from uh, Africa. Coffees, we believe that coffee is originated in Ethiopia. Ah, okay. We had a province called Kafa. Okay. That is what the, the name coffee is driven from. Oh. So uh, we have coffee, we export coffee, and coffee, coffee ceremony in general is one of the best uh, cultures we have. Oh, so okay. Out of our coffee. Right, and it's, a, it's, it's and great. It's Right. Coffee now. Is it the, called ceremony coffee? That the same thing? Yeah, the ceremony by itself is different. Okay. It's long. It's when people get together, take time to relax and talk to each other, right. family or otherwise. Okay. So it's a long process. Right. It's not something you just carry in a cup and uh, right. Around. Yeah, because I want to. Live Right, out in the European house and they made me like coffee, but it was like, like the process. I have to bring up, bring the smoke or the... Yes, uh, the, yes. the we uh, roast the coffee right there. Right. And so you use the aroma, feast the house. Right. It's, all, it's a very different food. Wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ethiopia is like a pillar of Africa. You guys did a lot for other African countries during the war liberation struggles of Namibia, South Africa. Ethiopians are always there. So you guys, um, we're very proud of Ethiopia. Yeah, this is all what would you have to tell people about Ethiopia? One like interesting thing about Ethiopia they want to tell the viewers. I think we are too proud. Nice. I like that. Uh, You're nationalist? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Abdul. Please tell me why this day, what's today, what are you guys celebrating today? This is, uh, today is Ethiopian day and after one week it's gonna be uh, Ethiopian New Year so now we celebrate to Ethiopian New Year. Wow, so in your house you have two calendars, you have the regular one and the Ethiopian calendar? You have two in your house? Yeah. Okay, so which one do you use the most? Both of it. Both of them? Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Everybody thinks Ethiopia has one of the most beautiful women in Africa in the world. Do you agree with that? Oh yeah. You yeah? <laughs> no that's, question. that's awesome. And otherwise, great event. I'm glad I came. And yeah, go Ethiopia! Woo! Thank you, Joe! Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And where are you from? I, I am originally, my parents are from Namibia. Oh. I was born in Angola. Oh. Uh, family in South Africa. I'm also Tafta, Dominican Republic. Oh. Yeah, I'm like just, I'm global, right? I just love the world and culture and different people. I just like the unity. Yes. You know, I feel like humanity is the greatest thing we can all achieve. You know, we just love people for who they are from different cultures. As African, we are all Exactly, to stand together. Exactly. Africans and people in the diaspora who, you know, who have African roots, standing together and just promoting Africa. Exactly. Thank you so much. All right, guys. This is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. Please don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe. Until next time, thank you and God bless you.